Hola. Hola. Hello. Hello. How are you? Hey, man. Good. How are you? I'm doing okay. I'm doing okay. <clears throat> it's it's a busy time. Okay. Yeah. And so this is our first meeting without Dan. Yeah. Yeah. So. Um. I don't know about you. I was a bit surprised by it. I didn't realize it would come so quickly. Yeah, we didn't either. It's been all everything so, so quick. Yeah, yeah. From the time of his first test on this to him passing was less than three months. That's incredibly quick. Yeah. Yeah. Hi, sorry. Hello. No problem. We were, we were just getting started. Um, so <clears throat> I know I said I would do uh, some blog stuff in the last couple of weeks. And so I guess I'll, I'll open with that since I, I said I would do stuff. I filed an issue with the CNCF on starting a blog and they don't have a recommended method to doing it. Um, it's raised gone everywhere from using Hugo's a static site generator to running something on medium, but I have not had a chance to, just pick one and get moving on it yet. I hope to do that maybe next week because I've been scrambling with some Helm stuff. Okay. Uh, because this Friday, Helm V2, uh, it's end of life and the stable and incubator chart repositories are done. Okay. So we've been doing behind the scenes stuff to get ready for that. Yeah, I saw that you, did you remove the stable and incubator repos from Artifact Hub? Yes. Okay, yeah, we saw that last Friday, that we were missing a couple of hundred packages there. Oh, this must be that. Yes, and and we, we wanted to do that earlier and we had failed to do it to try to motivate people to get their things out. And so that was the scheduled date that we had decided on a couple of weeks ago. And so that's just one of the steps. All right. I yeah. hope everything goes fine and users just don't find any trouble moving to the next version. No, no. In fact, we've got a blog post set to go out on Friday and that will again point people over to the Artifact Hub. Okay. So. Um, so that's where it stands. Uh, I will though, Hopefully starting next week, I'll figure out a blogging platform and start crafting some posts to go out. Awesome. Great. Yeah, I think that's gonna help a lot. Yeah. Um, because we have- well, Because I'd really like to get some growth of more people involved in the project besides just the two of you doing most of the work um, over this next year. Uh, to help us be able to go for incubation and moving to other phases. And I realize that uh, the CNCF has, I don't know if you know, they look like they'll have funding for the next year for this. That, sorry, sorry, can you say that again, please? It, it looks like the CNCF will have funding for everything for this for the next year. Okay. I don't know if you knew that. No, we didn't. So <laughs> It looks like it. Member renewals and everything are not in yet. Um, it is that season but they are budgeting and planning and, and hoping to, to have all of this funded for the next year, just like we did. Okay, that's great news. Yeah, that's what they're hoping for. Of course, nothing is done yet, but that's what I just learned. Okay. But I would still like to see the growth of other people involved in the projects from other organizations and companies, just like other CNCF projects have. Yeah, I think that's, that's gonna be, that's gonna help a lot. To the project so that it can keep growing and don't just depend on us. So, and, and you two have done a great job. Thank you. I, I've got no complaints. Thank you. 
Um, and then the other thing I had was the Helm Hub migration. We talked it out in the Helm, one of the Helm meetings. And we're okay handing the DNS off to you to do that. So at some point, you and I can get together and set up the, the DNS from the Helm side. So it points over to you. Okay. Okay. If you're if we're okay with that, we'll we'll just point it right at Artifact Hub. So Artifact Hub can keep control of whatever's going on there. All right. Yeah. Anytime. So yeah. Okay. Sure. All right. Those were the things that I had. Did you two have anything? Mm, no. You know, we don't usually bring too much stuff to the meeting. So But I'm always gonna ask. <laughs> Do you have enough to keep you busy for the next couple of weeks? Yes, I think so. If not, we'll be you, but yeah, we have a few things pending. Um, yeah, otherwise we'll keep adding more stuff. So it's just, we are starting to forget all the features we have already on board. So that's why your blog is going to help even us so much. Okay. We added last week, I don't know if you had a chance to take a look at it. We have added experimental support for OCI uh, Helm repositories. The, the which support? O OCI. So that now it is possible to even add an OCI based reposit Helm repository to Artifact Hub. Oh, that's wonderful. Yeah, I know you ask us to hold on a bit, and but we have been tracking all the issues and we have even seen the pull request that's actually open. That's seems to be about to be migrated related to the Helm Hans in, oh, I don't know, it's HIP6, I think. So okay. let me share with you. Thing, but. Yeah, that, that will change the user experience of somebody interacting with the Helm CLI, but it won't change. Well, it will change how things are stored just because we'll also have a provenance file in there eventually. Yeah, we saw that, but say, oh, most of the stuff shouldn't change. So yeah. I'll place right. it here. So how do you add one? It's we have kind of documented it here before. Yeah, we're trying to do that now. Every time we do something, we write a piece of yeah. documentation before we forget everything. So yeah, it's kind of easy. It's just the same. So you just need to add that repository like you would do normally in the UI. You just not go. need to prefix it with OCI, yeah. semicolon, slash, slash, blah, blah. And it just works. It supports private and non-private repositories. And that one actually works. We've pushed all the chart versions we have for Artifact Hub to GitHub packages. And that one works. So Fantastic. So yeah, it's kind of cool. And we also mentioned that that was experimental and subject to change as soon as the pending changes in Helm were merged. So yeah, there are a few things that we need to think about because stuff like the verified publisher and the ownership claim, that was working from a file that was served yeah. repository wide before. Yeah. And now we don't have such a thing. So there are a few things that we need to think about. Also, I understand that now each of the repositories will only host a single package compared to what we have right now. Yeah, so those yeah, it'll be a single package. Yeah, so it might be a bit more of, you know, some more work for publishers if they have a lot of packages. Yeah. But yeah, I, I need to find a place to host that that repo white file or maybe do it somewhere else. Some yeah. So yeah. a few but it's documented so that people know that and the provenance file is already mentioned in that document so that people know that that's not working yet, but we'll get there. Okay, now I'm gonna add this to the next home meeting, bring it up there. Okay, I reference this, yeah, the issue in the, in this, let me copy it here so that- I you think know this is. would be fun to, to talk about or bring up just so people know. Yeah, we thought that some people might get excited and maybe it helps people people adopting it earlier. I don't know. Just I don't know. Uh, I, I think this is something Josh would like to know too. So, okay. Awesome. Oh, fantastic. That's great. 
Thank you. Is there anything else we should talk about? No, I think that's it, Matt. Okay. Well then, uh, have a wonderful um, week and I'll see you online. Thank you very much. You too. Okay. And talk soon. Talk soon. Bye-bye. Bye-bye, Matt. Bye.